how do I make rounded corners in CSS? Here's an example of what I mean. See the corner of this, this div box right here? I've got a rounded edge. Same thing right here. How do I do that? It's actually really simple. Um, this is the page that we're working on. You can see right here we don't have rounded corners. Let's have a look at our, our CSS code and see what we've got here. Um, I'm going to apply this to all the divs on my page. Okay, you don't have to, you could specify just specific divs, but in this case I want, I've decided that I want all the divs on my page, I want them to have rounded corners. Um, it's actually really easy to do. The attribute that we use is border radius. And you might be asking yourself, why the word radius? Um, well, see, I think of it this way. I think uh, a corner, a rounded edge, is really just one quarter of a circle, when you think about it, right? And the radius, refers to the distance. If you if you were sort of pretend that this is an entire circle, okay, I wish I could actually draw that out a bit more for you, but pretend here, if I click on it, you'll see that it creates a circle. Pretend that this is a, a full circle. And the radius refers to the distance between this imaginary center point on the circle to the edge. Okay? And so that means that we the value that we put in here is going to be a number. It's going to be a number in pixels, and I'm going to start with, I'm going to try 10 pixels. And what that means is that if I save that, it should create a rounded, a rounded edge that is that approximates or is equivalent to um, if, if, I, if I drew sort of a, a, a center period, like a center dot right here, and I measured the distance between that and the edge, it should be 10 pixels. And if that doesn't make sense yet, don't worry. It should make sense in a moment. Um, this is the page that we're working on. I've just changed, I've just added the border radius 10 pixels uh, here to my divs and my CSS page. Let's hit reload. And now you see my edges are all rounded. And notice it also rounded the edges to the footer down here. It doesn't really matter because we're not, you know, we didn't change the background color. Um, but in this case, it did. Now, what happens if we actually change the value of this? Here's a little question for you. If I were to change that to, say, 40, okay, and if I were to apply that, do you think that the rounded edge, what would happen to the rounded edge? Well, let's think about this, okay? If the, if the border radius value is 40 pixels, then that means that, because remember, that number refers to this, this imaginary distance between the, you know, like if, if we were to draw this imaginary circle, the distance between the center of the circle and the edge of the line. So if the distance between, if the radius or the distance between the center of the circle and the edge, the border, is 40 pixels, then is the circle bigger or smaller? The circle would be bigger, right? Yeah, that, that makes sense. It means that the radius would be 40 pixels, which is four times as big as this. And so if the circle is bigger, would you expect the corner to be kind of rounder or to be sharper? It would be rounder, right? Because we're talking about a much bigger circle. So let's hit reload and see what happens. See, that's exactly what happened. You can see this imaginary circle now is a lot bigger. And to reflect the fact that the distance between the center and the edge is larger now. Isn't that neat? I think it's kind of neat, but I sort of geek out about things like that, so, you know, your mileage may vary. Let's switch this back to what we had originally, 10 pixels, let's hit save, and let's reload. This is very, very similar to what we have here. In fact, we are so darn close. It's amazing. All right, the end is in sight. Thank you for watching. I hope that you found that helpful. I'll see you next time.